So I think I've got peach tree borers. Here's my contender peach tree. And I emailed Extension and I said, look, I've got what is called gamosis at the trunk. Um, you know, I think I have gamosis. And they said, well, gamosis is usually, you can, see it's that, you can see why it's called gamosis, it's like a gum. That's usually a symptom of something. And when I said it was down by the soil line, they said, well, sounds like you probably got borers which, you know, most, most things, especially what I've been learning about fruit tree production, you wanna just take all preventative measures because when it actually gets it, it's really tricky to undo. And what I didn't do, and now I will going forward, is that when I spray for different pathogens, including, um, you know, funguses and insects, you wanna get way, way, way down the trunk as well. And the reason it's kind of a side, I painted these, the bottom trunks of my fruit trees. This is a white, water-based latex paint and it helps with um, sunburn and also it's a protectant against something like a borer. So I went after I saw this gamosis I went and I spray I painted all of the trees. It's got to be water-based, it's got to be latex though, just really cheap paint and just the bottom. So I've been reading and I bought this orchard spray and I think the active ingredient here is perithrin which should hopefully get the borers. Once they're adult borers, I don't think it'll kill them, but it'll get the eggs. So I've got my spray bottle here that I had mixed up, and then I've just been kind of, you know, dumping it, which I don't know if that's good or bad, but I feel like this way it gets below the soil, which I can't get to with the sprayer. My other peach trees are fine, you know, and, and I think a borer, the adult, you know, it goes egg, larva, pupa, I think caterpillar, and then the adult is perhaps a moth, which means it could spread. So I don't know. This is peach borer learning as I go. Hopefully, you know, the tree, you can see here, it's not as fulled out, filled out as this one, this right here. That's my Reliance. That's my Bell of Georgia. And it's alive. It's just not, I wouldn't say it's like thriving. So hopefully, with a few more applications it'll do this here is my all-in-one almond tree that i got from ison's nursery based in georgia and by now it should have leafed out however when i do what they call the scratch test you know it's still green it's still alive it's just not leafing and i emailed them and i said look the tree's not dead but it's early june it should have leaves at this point and they said what you need to do is cut the dead part off until it's green see how it's green here and they said, keep doing that until you get leaves. And I think what happened, we had a really bad cold spell pretty late this, this spring in Tennessee. And they said, if you kind of keep chipping away until, you know, it gets green, hopefully it's going to encourage the leaves to come out. I hope it does. I was really excited about this. It's called, uh, I think it's all-in-one almond and it's a self-pollinating almond tree. It had really, really good reviews and it's alive, but the problem is, you know, trees are how uh, a plant captures the sunlight and does photosynthesis and puts nutrients back. So without trees, it's a problem. So hopefully these little cuts, you know, I'll just do a little bit at a time and hopefully soon enough, you know, we'll see a little bit of green coming out. I don't see any green yet. I've been at this for, I don't know, maybe a week now, but gotta stay hopeful.